jumping back farther. He's just TPing out. There's too much dot effect on him with the help for the Death Ward. They're going to find that kill onto the Venomancer. But can they get out scot free? Jirax on the run, but now, no, Faithful has to win with the back wall. Hitting on two. Jirax still has more life, but is it enough to survive? No, it's not. But it buys time for the rest of Liquid to re engage back in. And with the Doom on Faith, he ain't providing anything else. Wings are still looking to re engage, though. They have Ice Eyes back up. He's looking for the long range shards, but it looks like Liquid shouldn't be able to make a clean escape here. The heal over time from that Voodoo Restoration is really offsetting a lot of the Venomancer's damage, particularly on some of these tanky heroes like this Spectre with the drums. Some basic stats that are allowing him to just keep on trucking after he's hit by that ultimate. Not really sure what direction they're going to go next is the Doom is going to pick up the pipe shortly after. and This is going to help quite a lot against the Venomancer's ultimate. Uh, they've got a lot of these side items as well with the mech completed, so Liquid definitely want to get into these team fights, which I think is the right idea against heroes like Bounty Hunters. If you're struggling against the Bounty Hunter's roaming potential, especially with the Batrider in the game and a Tusk, that's a lot of pickoff potential. So just get a lot of different items that'll make you hard to kill, and this Bounty Hunter, I mean, we've talked about it before, but 18 minutes into the game, not even level 6, this is well past the time period where you usually get it from. And he's just underneath oh, a sentry ward too. Jirax, Death Wards of cool in a moment. They've got the dust available. Innocence, he should definitely die here. Now they'll commit the Death Ward. Innocence will go down. More money into their bank accounts. Will Death Ward down? Wings, maybe they feel they can go. And the Alchemist, he's going to stun himself. He can't get into the fight in time. The Snowball forward again is still focusing oh, over on the time over the back. It just drops that instant last two out. The only ulti is so hard for Tolman. Defensively in prison. Wings can't finish off the target. Alchemist, he needs to run himself away. but it got shut down as the hammer got slammed by he Liquid. He might just heal and go for it again. He does have that ultimate available. But the Alchemist, maybe a little bit too tanky for that. Yeah, I think it's just a bit too risky at this point. I think Liquid, oh, oh, he does go for it. There's a spectral horn. In fact, he actually realities down to bottom lane. So, okay, no, doesn't see the opportunity for it. Yeah, but he does burn the spectral horn. They thought that maybe Fado would be able to get close enough to imprison up the Venomancer, but... He still manages to complete that TP in time. But as a whole, Liquid are going to be good with these engagements. Yes, the Alchemist does have 4,000 net worth over the OD, but that is natural. This is, this is a hero who doesn't actually get that much out of the items he picks up. It's just the fact that he's able to completely outfarm everybody by a large margin that he becomes a strong carry. So this kind of builds onto what we're talking about for Liquid, which is continuing to try and force fights. But Wings, they're trying to keep them off balance constantly with these smoke incursions into the Radiant Jungle. They're trying to go for these pickoffs, get the initiation for the Batrider and turn it into so much more. The problem is they still don't have Blink. Yeah, right now, Wings, I think the big issue for them uh, going into this game is whether or not the rest of the heroes can keep pace with the Alchemist. Faith, here he comes again. Koro turns to ask the Doom with the Infernal Blade. It was Ice Ice to actually initiate in, but do they have more? The track is coming up. The fact tries to pull him out. Ice Ice has one more attack away from death, but they cannot reach him. Instead, Matumaman moves over after that Bounty Hunter. Ice Ice is still on 10 HP, walking out of the fight, but Liquid, they just keep coming. Faith will finally drop the first casualty of that engagement. And he was the first one to really start it off. Another great Penomancer ultimate, but look at that Buddha Restoration go! No one from Wings felt confident about re-engaging despite all the damage done by the Venom. Yeah, on top of that, they got the pike completed now on Kuro, who was able to cast it. Kept most of, his, most of his team incredibly healthy, and once they start to get the Blink Daggers on these cores on Liquid, it's gonna become a lot easier for them to take these fights. You notice what's... happening right now is Wings is able to kite them, and even without the abilities up, they don't really have any gap closing. As Wings, it seems best for them to avoid fights. Now that the pipe is up, I think it's just too much for uh, for Wings to be able to handle against Liquid. They just need to try and find... I don't know, it's really tough because you're in a situation where it's for him to continue up his farm so he can get to that big man. Alchemist, mind control wants to go for this. Petrol Horn again, off cooldown, and they're already looking for the kills. We'll have our subs of pause. This is kind of uh, unfortunate, but I'm not sure it really matters. If well, the tier one tower was up, yeah, maybe we could see something, but it's such a long run for the, the, uh, the Alchemist to be able to come back. Jerex. Getting a little giggle out of that one. Hope his mouse isn't actually missing. I'm not sure what kind of disappearing act that would be. Cockroach running around with a mouse. 
be. Looks like I mean, there, there have been more important pieces of equipment lost to the land event. Uh, Looks like this. <laughs> there we go. We're back in again. And well, they'll keep the chase going. Concoction stun's gonna be there. The TPs are coming to the tier two tower, but this alchemist, his chemical rage now wears off. He's gonna burn out before the rest of wings can arrive. They tried to help out his teammate, but it was just a little bit too slow. Rescue Ranger is not there in time. The Alchemist down for 50 seconds, and they're gonna lose a lot of map control here with Liquid pushing into the Dire Tower. They might actually go for the tier two, but they don't have the greatest pushers in the world, and that's uh, a bit of a problem for Liquid. There's also a small trade off the fact the tier two tower on bottom lane now taking the damage as the catapult will reach it. It does look like most of the, but yeah, both the teams will start just resetting. Right now, the Venomancer deciding not to go for the Aghanim Scepter, opting to instead go for the Cloak. Don't really agree with that decision just because I don't really see anything on Liquid's side that it really deters anything from because the Doom is pure. Yeah, there's almost nothing that's going to really help him. And also delaying up the eggs. Like, if you're not going to get it from the Alchemist, you should start building it on yourself with the Venomancer. The Force Staff, I'm still okay with. Right? It's, yeah. You need you need that kind of uh, mobility item, whether it's for yourself or maybe even saving your allies. Um, but it, you start building other items away from the Aghanim Scepter, and I think that's a mistake for Shadow. Yeah, even going for something armor-related, Shiva's uh, Ghost Scepter, just to be able to survive a lot of hits from Liquid, but opting to instead go for the Cloak probably doesn't matter in the overall context of the game, but something interesting to note as the Alchemist just continues to farm all the Ancient Stacks, Liquid are in a pretty good to, uh, position to be able to deal with him as the game goes on just because they have spec plus OD, a really strong combination in the late game, but Wings, they're going to have to find their timing soon because they can't, I don't think they can afford anyways to go for this ultra late game scenario where the Alchemist has to do a 1v5. We talked about how Alchemist gets this infusion of gold that makes him seem incredibly powerful, but in reality doesn't really have the skill set to back up things late game. Yeah, and look at Liquid, they have great heroes to be able to deal with a single carry, right? They've got the Doom, they've got OD who could just imprison you out of the fight, uh, the OD who could also just right-click you to death with his kind of glass cannon style uh, abilities that allow him to take away all your intelligence. Uh, they also have, in general, just some okay disables and being able to kite the Alchemist. So uh, they, they really needed him to be super far ahead to try this game for them. PTs are coming in, but Tubman initiated on with that last two. Support is teeping into the tower, but Tubman won't survive in time. Mind Control, however, will no one let this go unpunished. Chasing and locking down that Alchemist. Well, as locked down as much as you can with just a vac, but the bigger lockdown is the imprisonment. Over on the side, you can say goodbye to your Batrider. It'll be a one-for-one -one trade off, but there's still a Batrider for Respecta. You know, considering how many heroes are rotated, it was really important for them to actually get that Batrider, but it's also something to note. The Tier 1 tower is still up in the mid lane, and Liquid are holding on to that. That's actually being able to grant them some control, some semblance of control over their uh, over their jungle. I think what happened... Oh, that jump. The paralyzing cast, however, they need to keep in range of the sentry ward. That should go next to reveal. The cast will hit, but they don't see anything. The sentry came down too late. Oh, and now it is on the Iron Shell. He actually stood next to it far enough. They'll get rid of the observed one while they're here, and they're looking for another target. They could like, not reach up. Looked like for a second the Doom was going to go for the Doom, but Kuro, again, doesn't really have the best follow up, especially with the vacuum wall already expended by Mind Control. What he really needs is Fada to be in position, as he's got a BKB. Slowly making his way forward, he's going for the Astral, that but... it's not real, that is a fake, and here is a secondary fake. Stun under Kuro, but nothing will come of it. Wings, I, again, Liquid don't really have the kind of pushers to take away your tier 2, so Wings should be uh, pretty good when it comes to defending these. It looks like the Axe is now going to be built by the uh, by the Alchemist. He's got the got the point booster. Sorry, oh, so. the top of man picked up on bottom lane. They're, they're dragging it back towards, again, the BT target. The Alchemist coming in towards the fight. Spectre dropping low, and again, they're successful, but over towards the mid. Ice Ice initiating on with the Paralyzing Cask as well as back. They don't have another Son of Barbel. The Doombringer is too far away. Oh, Ice <gasps> that imprisonment was still a second too late. Fada tried it, but he couldn't reach him in time. Yeah, Wings are doing the right thing. It was, they had to get away from using the team fight scenario, the Venomancer, because Liquid is just too big, and start going for the pickoffs. And they're, obviously, they're getting the right hero Spectre time and time again. The fact that the Doom is able to be a part of that kill, thanks to the Boots of Travel, just makes it the icing on the cake. Trying to see what the next move for is Liquid. They're trying to get their Spectre more farming. Mean, he's still so far away from the Manta. At one point, he had 1,800 gold after those two consecutive pickoffs. 
still just as the Yasha. Of course, we talked about it. All he really needs is one successful team fight, and he'll be perfectly fine in the game. But I, I mentioned a point booster is probably an octarine. Oh yeah, that slipped my mind. It's almost definitely good. Yeah, when you already have the Manta, it's like classic for Alchemist. You get like five second downtime in your ultimate or something absurd. So yeah. he's gonna have that really soon. It's the max split push and all that sort of thing. Cap, I already have Toby that's gonna say some stuff I'm that sorry, doesn't make dude. sense. Hey, I'm just gonna point out I was the one that actually helped Cap on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You know how how bad I feel right now. Real low moment. <laughs> he pointed to that. I was like, oh god, kill me now. Uh, you're all good, bro. Hey, just think of it. Puppy would actually uh, have the have envy give him an Aghanim scepter on the Venomance to make it more powerful. But Puppy would do it. Anyone, anyone could justify it. Bottom lane, innocence. I can't, like, I'm wondering how long it's going to take until Liquid pick up a gem for just these situations. I mean, to be honest, they've already picked off the Bounty Hunter enough times successfully. It's uh, true. The fact that we keep having to say his name. Speak of the devil. Because he's dying all the time. <laughs> the gem of true side is now purchased. They've had enough. It's cost wings so much. Like, their, their landing place is already bad enough, but now he's just, like, feeding extra gold to some of these heroes. He just needs to get this under control. Some of his role is going to be scouting out and playing kind of a dangerous, you know, maybe sometimes I'll feed away, but I'll get a lot of information. But you still need to get a, a, a grip on that. Yeah, right now, Matumba Man continuing to just farm away. And he's being so much more safe than he used to be. Before, he would just push out lanes and his team would go four-man. But uh, time and time again, Wings was taking advantage of that. Whenever they saw Matumba Man on the map, they assumed that none of the heroes were behind him. And this time around, Liquid oh, are going to make a move into their jungle. Or he's too far away for Oh, no, great. Now, now they see him. Now they see him. The gem goes to work instantly into the death wall. Innocence will cancel it with a shuriken toss. Uh, but he's most definitely dead. Uh, should be dead. Should be dead. Finish your job. Spectral Hall will come out. They're looking for another target. It's the Doom on Shadow. And then they can move down to the bottom lane. Faith has already expended up his Firefly, but a Spectral Dagger on Ice Ice. Almost in his team three tower. And slow this up, Fada. Does he drop the ultimate? Ice Ice is so low, and Fada under the tier 3 tower. He should pop from the imprisonment damage. And yep, there she goes. Double kill in favor of the OD. Cool and guys three don't heroes look at across the, the board. Cool guys just don't look at the explosions, Toby. Fada just gives him the imprisonment walk away. And once they killed that Venomancer, right, they knew. It was like, okay, that big team fight hero is gone. Liquid can go for objectives from there. Uh, they're cleaning up everything else and push. And then this bottom tower is going to be free for them as Matama Man is going to complete the Manta style pretty shortly uh, after. Yeah, you know, watch this explosion. Fate actually dragging him up closer towards the rest of the Team Liquid team, but it also drags him closer towards the Alchemist. But it won't matter if Fata can imprison him up. And now it's the Alchemist over on the run. Kuro is still fine with this. He may be tracked up in the middle of Acid Spray and Firefly, but Fate doesn't really have much more control. Fata trying to get rid of the illusions. Now they put the Bell of Discord on. Shadow, he can't get himself in range. Or can he force stuff into Nova? Maybe an option for him. The OD has to imprison the Shards by Fate, nice. so Fata will be going down. Kuro will join him, and Jirax also on the run out of here. He's got the gem. Remember, this is going to be lost if he dies. Is there any kind of help? The restoration, the one charges. He gets back up the hill, the paralyzing cast. Nothing will come from it, and the gem will be into the hands of innocents, and all things have gone horribly wrong in the space of one minute. Horribly wrong doesn't even begin to describe it, Toby. That was so destructive, self-destructive from Liquid.